Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I'm going to show you a lawnmower that is very hard to pull over. And I'm also going to show you what the problem is and how to fix it. So here it is, it's a Cub Cadet lawnmower and it's got an engine that's made in China on it. It's a 6.75 foot-pounds torque. And it's also an overhead valve engine. What I'm going to do is show you just how hard it is to pull over. So you just put the lever down and when you go to pull it, it's hard. Like it feels like it's hydrolocked almost. It does start, but for some people it may be a bit too hard to pull over. So what I think the problem is with this lawnmower is that the valves need to be adjusted. The valve lash is probably too wide, meaning that there's too much space between the rocker arm and the valve stem. So what I'm going to do to repair that is take this cover off by removing the four 10 millimeter bolts. And what I've done is put it up on a block so it's tilted upwards. This will prevent oil from coming out of the valve cover. Now for safety purposes, before you start this procedure, make sure to remove the spark plug boot. And sometimes these caps are on there pretty tight. And I'm going to remove all the four bolts. Now you may notice after you've removed the four bolts that the cover is still stuck on there. That's because of the gasket maker between the valve cover and the head. So to get the cover off I'm going to use a large flat screwdriver and I'm going to insert it here in between the cover and the engine. Now when you pull the cover off be careful not to break the gasket. And here are the valves. What I suspect the problem is is that the valve lash is too wide so the space between the tip of the rocker arm and the valve stem will be too wide. So what I'm going to do is turn the blade underneath. That's why I disconnected the spark plug boot earlier to prevent the engine from starting. And I'll be turning the engine over until one valve is completely open. So this part here will be down. And you can see it's really loose. It's even going off the valve stem as you see. And now that this valve is all the way down, I'm going to adjust this one. This just prevents me from having to put the engine at top dead center. It's just another method of doing it. It's similar to what I did on the lawn tractor video where I adjust the valves where the tractor is hard to start. I'm sure you guys have seen that video. So what I'm going to do is just check what the lash is right now with my feeler gauge. So to check the lash, you want to insert your feeler gauge blade between the valve stem and the rocker arm right here and it's eight thousandths of an inch that's way too wide it should only be between three thousandths of an inch to five thousandths of an inch so the valve lash is way too wide so today I'll be putting the valve lash on this lawnmower engine at four thousandths of an inch I'm going to insert it in here again it's going to be loose in there and now with a 10 millimeter wrench I'm going to loosen the nut just a little bit and I'm going to tighten up the 14 millimeter nut just a bit, not even a quarter of a turn, maybe one eighth. And I'm going to tighten up the 10 millimeter nut again. Don't over tighten it, just use common sense. I don't have the torque specs on me right now, but if you're careful and you don't over tighten it, you'll be okay. Now after you've done this, check the feeler gauge. You don't want it to be too tight or too loose in there. It's just snug in here, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. If it was too tight or too loose, then I would readjust it again. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times before you get it right. And I'm going to repeat the process on the bottom valve here. So I'm going to reach down underneath and turn the blade again. Again, make sure the spark plug boot is off, like it is in this case here. So I'm going to turn the engine until the valve that I just adjusted is opened. And this valve here needs to be adjusted. You can see it's really loose. It's way worse than this one was. As you can see, it's at 18 thousandths of an inch, nearly four times the recommended lash. So it definitely needs to be adjusted, and that was definitely the problem for the lawnmower to be hard to start. 
So again, I'm gonna get the blade that says 4,007 inch. You can use anywhere between three and five on these engines. It does work good. And now I'm gonna put the gauge here. It's gonna be extremely loose. And now I'm gonna hold the 14 millimeter nut with the wrench and loosen the 10 millimeter one over here. And I'm gonna turn my wrench in a bit. So I probably turned it about a quarter of a turn or less. I'm gonna retighten the nut. Always remember that when you turn in the 14 millimeter nut, it's making the space between the rocker arm and the valve stem smaller. If you loosen it, it's making the gap bigger. So in this case, I need to go back again, loosen this nut and retighten the 14 millimeter nut just a bit again. Still loose. Bit tight. Okay, so I'm done gapping it. Now I'm going to turn the engine over with the blade underneath and I'm going to check the gap once more. So you're going to see the valves open and close here. And I'm going to repeat the process, open one valve like this and then check the gap again on the other valve. And that's good. Now I'm going to repeat the process and do it on this valve. And that's good. Now because one valve was really loose on this engine, what it caused is one of the push rods to wear through this plastic part over here. So I ended up changing it on this mower. As you can see, there's different plastic parts here. I replaced the whole metal part that I had from another engine and it works good. So I didn't show this in the video. I almost forgot to show you guys, but I'm showing it to you now. Always check where the push rods go through to make sure that it looks like this, not like this. If it looks like this, you should replace this part. Now before I put the valve cover back on, I'm going to clean the gasket a bit. And for this, I'm going to use a bit of methyl hydrate. The reason why I like using methyl hydrate is because it dries real quick and gets the oil and grease off really good. So I'm just going to go around, wipe it clean. And I'm also going to wipe the inside of the valve cover as well, where the gasket goes. I want to make sure it's not oily at all. And I'm going to apply a thin film of this stuff here. It's Permatex RTV Silicone Ultra Black. You don't need to put too much on. This will prevent any oil leaks. And I'm going to put the cover back on. Make sure the OHV is facing the correct way. What I'm doing right now is just snugging the bolts. I don't have the exact torque specs, but just use common sense, don't over tighten it. It needs to be a bit tight, but not too much. The important thing in this case is to tighten up the cover evenly, so start at one end and then crisscross. And now make sure to put the spark plug boot back on. Now I'm going to get it off the block. And now I can feel that it's much easier to pull over. Way easier. It's much easier to pull over. Anybody's going to be able to start that lawnmower. So if you have that problem, make sure to check the valves. Now I'm just going to give it a quick start to make sure that the mower is actually running.
Anyways, it runs real good now. I can't emphasize how much easier it is to start and to pull over. The people who own this lawnmower, the woman had to get her husband to start it up for her all the time, so I'm sure she'll be able to start it up now by herself. So sometimes you don't really have to spend too much money to repair these unless that little part is wore out like I showed you. But besides that, it costs nothing to do this except a little gasket maker. Thanks for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and you'll see me in my next video. Have a nice day.